from your experience in policy making, uh, how do you see the role of pharmacists uh, uh, in improving adherence, going back to the arguments you have already presented at the, at the, at the round table? Well, I think it's very, very important that you have to engage the, the patient in, in um, the healthcare that you are providing, especially when you hand over some medicine. Um, therapy inadherence is, is, is a big problem. Uh, so if you involve the patient from the beginning and right from the start, uh, it will pay off in the end. Uh, one of the other things that, that has to be done uh, in the field of, of politics is that you are changing the reimbursement system so that people and the pharmacists uh, are being paid for the time they invest in the patient. If you, do not, if you don't do that and if you only pay for the distribution of medicine, uh, well, then it won't pay off and it, then they won't invest the time that is needed. So you would be talking about a, a, a different system of reimbursing cognitive services by pharmacists. Instead of a margin on the product, it would be changed into a, a, a payment or a fee for a cognitive service. Yes, you have to pay for the added value and the contribution of the pharmacist in, in terms of uh, real health care and improving the health care. Um, we started in Holland with this. Uh, it has to be fulfilled. It has to be um, um, rounded up. Uh, but on the other hand, and that's quite important on the uh, in second point, as a second point, is that you get an, an integrated system that if you invest in people and if they uh, are improving the adherence and you get less hospitalizations, that the capacity and the cost uh, at the hospital level, they are really going down. Otherwise, you get a risk that the insurance companies are paying twice. Uh, on the one hand for the innovation, but it doesn't pay off in the second line in the hospitals and the cost will stay the same there. And if they pay twice, they won't do it a second time.